What is up you guys? My name is Lauren. If you're new here, if not, welcome back to my channel. Do you see what I deal with? Today's video, I'm gonna be turning myself into a real life princess. This is literally my dream video. I'm gonna do my hair, I'm gonna do my makeup, and I'm actually going to do a fun look with eyeshadow, which I've never done, I don't think, on my channel. Well, I think I did like an eyeliner thing once, but it's been years since I've used eyeshadow. And then once I'm all ready, I'm gonna try on some Jing princess dresses that were sent over to me. Jing is been one of my dream companies to work with for so long now. They have the most beautiful princess dresses I've ever seen and I tried some on yesterday and I love them so much. I was like, honestly, I need to do a try on haul and review these with you guys and just show you the inside scoop of what they look like because pictures just don't do them justice. And the pictures were really cute too, but it's just still nothing compared to seeing them like in video form, which is pretty much in real life, like as close as we can get to it. I truly felt like a real life princess yesterday. And at first I was like, okay, I could do a try on haul, but I feel like turning me into a real life princess just sounds more clickbaity and better. So that's what we're gonna do. Mental screenshot this moment of my before. Just realized that I don't have a brush for my eyeshadow. Like, just to give you an idea of how little I do my eyeshadow, I don't even have a brush for it. So, I'm gonna try my best with my fingers. I haven't done this in so long, I literally don't even know how to do this. And the fact that I'm doing it with my finger gives me anxiety. What color should I do? I'm nervous about the eyeshadow. Sometimes I don't like the way eyeshadow looks on me and the fact that I don't have a brush to blend it makes me upset. I guess I'll use this like light beige color right there. Or should I do sparkles? Start with the beige, start with the beige. I'm so worried. I don't know if I should have done this. Some people like only use their fingers though, and some people like swear by it that it's actually like blends better. So I don't know, I've never done it, but I'm being forced to. So here we go, we're gonna try it. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I think I'm gonna use this finger though instead of my pinky because I can dap better with this one. Here I go again. What is up with me? If you know what I'm talking about right now, like if you know what the word dap is and like where it comes from, you're an OG around here. I don't even know if it's really putting anything on there. I think it is though. I think it is and I think it's blending pretty well. I wanted pink, so I'm definitely gonna put some pink on the lid. But okay, that looks good actually. That looks pretty good, I think. Now we'll use, I guess, my middle finger and I'm gonna use this light pink one over here for the actual lid. Cute, cute, looking cute. Cute, I'm actually doing good. Ooh. Look at that. We're looking good over here. Hi, Fluff. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of this shimmer right there, just like on top of the pink on the lid, just to give me a little something. I don't really know if I'm doing this necessarily correct, but I think it looks pretty good and natural, which is what I want. Ooh, I like the shimmer. Honestly, using my finger is not even bad right now. Like it's looking pretty good. All right, so that's what my eyes look like right now. Not bad, not bad. Now, I'm gonna just do the rest of my makeup like normal. So for my brows, I use this Almay Brow Styler. It's just like this clear brush stuff. And I'm gonna do my brows. You <laughs> just see Cat prancing around in the background. Eyeshadow and brows are done. Now, lashes. 
Sorry, this is an intense part. Can't talk right now. I especially can't f this up because I put eyeshadow on. Here we go, I the pill. Hell yeah, I did good. Oh yes, honey, it is a good lash day. Look at that, right on the money. What's what's up, Flo? What? You want your drip? Hold on. I did it. And cat's still running around in the back. Wow, that literally looks like my lash. Like that's really good. I actually did really good today. Now I'm going to put on some underliner. I use the Kat Von D tattoo liner. <laughs> what are you doing, Kat? For some reason, my left eye is so much harder to do than my right. Like, my right's like, whoop, and my left is like. There, it's good enough. Now, I'm gonna get a Q-tip and I'm gonna clean this up a little bit so that the lines are more even underneath. Now, I'm going to take this Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Gonna use the middle part of the q-tip to clean up the bottom of the lashes that I just put mascara on so that way it doesn't get on my face see like all that would have gotten on my face eventually I'm gonna use this Tula rose glow and get it it's like a little highlighter stick I love this thing like, I love it I use it as concealer like right under my eyes and then I use it as actual highlighter like on top of my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose. And yeah, it's the best. Then I'm gonna take my favorite, my favorite blush palette in the entire universe that I'm like beyond running out of and I just refuse to get a new one. But if you know any good ones, please let me know because I need one. I'm gonna take the blush and highlighter combo and the blush. I use my blush as contour. So I don't use contour, I just kind of use the blush as contour. And then same thing on the other side. And then I do the same thing, but I put it on my hairline and I kind of like push it into my hairline underneath my chin. And then I take my fan brush and I use just the highlighter on my forehead, above my cheekbones, my nose, the lip. And then, possibly the most important part, you have to blend it out. So let me get my beauty blender. Okay, so you want it to be pretty wet. That's when I feel it works best. And then you're just gonna blend in all the things that we just did. The biggest mistake with beauty blenders is that people don't get them wet enough. Make sure that they're pretty wet, but you don't wanna like push and hold either because then it'll smear it. So you just want to like lightly pat everywhere that you just did. And then you take the side part of it and you push the blush that you used as contour up into your cheekbones. This is literally what I do for my makeup. 
for like everyday makeup, the only difference is the eyeshadow. Like that's literally the only thing that I did different. Now our last step is to spray with some setting spray. I use the Anastasia. It's the Anastasia Dewy Set Setting Spray. I've used this one forever and I love it. All right, so all I have left is to put on my lipstick, but I'm probably gonna do my hair real quick first and then finish the lipstick. I think the eyeshadow actually came out really well considering I did it with my fingers. Yeah, I like it, I like it. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my hair and for my hair, I'm gonna do my natural hair, but I'm gonna style it a little bit. So I have this mixture that I made and it's part water, part leave-in conditioner. And I'm gonna spray that in my hair and scrunch it, even though I, my hair actually looks actually looks pretty good by itself today, but hmm. I don't even really need to style it. I don't know. What do we think? I wish that you guys could tell me right now what we think. I honestly love it. Let me look at it in the mirror. Oh, yes, yes. No, I actually really love it. Okay, I don't even think we need to style it. I think we just need to put our princess dress on and put on some jewelry and some shoes and call it a day. So yeah, let's go ahead and go into the try on haul portion. Yay, Yay! for having healthy hair. You guys, I haven't used heat on my hair in almost two months now. How insane is that? Let's try on some princess dresses. I'm excited. This is the part I was most excited for. I hate doing my makeup, honestly, I hate it. But I was like, I need to do this. Cause it's kind of part of it, you know? What princess isn't gonna have some natural glowy princess makeup? I'm gonna start with my favorite one which surprisingly isn't the pink one. I thought it was gonna be the pink one, but this one, you guys, the fit of this dress is unreal. Unreal. I've never had something just shape me out so well, and yet it's so comfortable. It's just such a flattering dress, it really is, but it's so comfortable. I literally did not wanna take this off yesterday. Like, I wore it to do a shoot, and then I kept it on for like another two hours, just like editing on my phone, like chilling. It's, it's great. Okay, I'm gonna try it on, show you guys what it looks like on, and yeah, we'll talk about it a little bit more. All right, so I put on my lipstick. I put on some gold hoop earrings. I did my Vivian Westwood dupe necklace, and then I added on this extra ring of pearls to give it like a fancier vibe. Then I put on my gold rings. And for the grand finale, this is me as a modern day real life. I love it, I love it so much, you guys. Like, I feel so myself in this dress. I've never felt more confident. And it doesn't matter, I feel like every angle looks so good. It cinches you perfectly at your waist. And underneath, there's actually this little tool. It's called tool, I think. A little skirt poofy type thing that makes the dress stick out just a little bit so it's not completely flat against your body. And I just love the cut of it. I feel like it kind of actually goes up just a tiny bit on the side. And it makes you have a little bit of a booty because of that. So I I just love this dress. I love it so much. And I think it looks really cute with cowboy boots. You could of course wear it with pumps as well, but I love being like a little Southern cottage core princess. So, I paired it with the cowboy boots. It's a little bit fancier because it's kind of a sheer material, but it's still just absolutely gorgeous. And look how stunning the puffed sleeves are. Every angle just looks so princessy. I love it. So yeah, this is our first one. Here's the pink one. And I forgot to mention this, but with the other one, you could actually wear the sleeves down or up as well. With the first one, I love the way the way the way, the way, the way, the way. I love the way the sleeves look whenever they're up. For this one, I personally love the way they looked down. So that is the way that I'm gonna wear these ones. With this one, it also has that little bit of tool underneath. And I checked and it is called tool. It has that little bit of tool underneath and there's several layers with these dresses that makes them look poofy and princessy. And also it's so good because you don't have to worry about them being see-through just because there's so many layers. So 
This one is super cute too. I kept on all the same jewelry and the same cowboy boots. And it's the perfect little powdery pink color. This was the dress that I first saw from Jing that made me fall in love with the company because this is the perfect little pink princess dress. I just love the way it fits. Oh, and all of these dresses, I got a size small for reference. So I think they had extra small as well. So I sized up to a small and I'm glad that I did because these literally fit me like a glove. They're so comfortable. This one's more of a cottony material than the other one. The other one was more of like a sheer. This one also kind of comes up on the side. I just love the way that these dresses fit. Like they nailed it with the fit. They literally fit like a glove and every single angle, it doesn't matter how you turn, looks flattering. I love them. Seriously feel like a real life princess. I have never been happier in something. Like I could wear this forever. I could literally wear this forever. Oh, I need more princess dresses. I think this is like my thing. Officially, this has become my thing. I've never felt more myself in a piece of clothing. All right, I have one more dress to show you guys, and that is this white dress that I ordered. I will put the names and links to all the dresses that I'm showing you in the description box below, just so you know. But this is the last dress that I ordered. I really, really loved it because the back has these little ties and it's kind of like a baby doll, again, with the puppy sleeves. I just can't help myself. I will get puppy sleeves everything. And overall, it looks like a boxy baby doll fit. So I just love this style of dresses. I can't wait to try it on. I actually haven't tried this one on yet. I've tried on both of these yesterday, but not this one. So this will be my first time trying it on. I'm obsessed with it, you guys. I'm obsessed with all of these. My favorite part about this one is that there's these little ties around the waist, so you can make it as form-fitted or as loose as you want it to be. And I just really love the back on this one. It's an open back with two ties. And I just think it looks so cute with the puff sleeves. I could definitely imagine this one out in a field, just running through the wilderness. So I'm definitely gonna take this one outside to shoot because I can just see it looking really cute against like a white picket fence or something like that. But this one was a little bit longer than the rest and this one doesn't have that little shorter part on the sides. It's all one length. But again, there's multiple fabrics in here, so it's still not see-through, even though it's white, which is great. It almost has this wrinkled, satiny kind of feel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I wanna do so many more videos like this in the future. So if you did enjoy, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much to Jing for providing me with these beautiful princess dresses. I am seriously so in love with each and every one of them and I can't wait to wear them all summer long. I love you guys and I will see you next time.